Okay, so these are the products that I'm using to slay this shortcut, honey. Yes, slay this cut. So I have my 27 piece, which comes with a plastic cap and a wig cap. You can use that, it's optional. I opted to use my own type of wig cap, which is the one with the large band, as you guys can see. Down at the very bottom of the 27 piece, I have some blonde hair right there. Here's the 27 piece, and here is the extra cap that I opted for. I'm also using the Bump Goddess Remy by Sensational in the Trio 2, 4, and 6. In color number 1, I'll be using that for my bangs, honey. And I have the Spritz. I'm using the New Expression Spritz as well as Designer's Touch, I believe is what that is, Spritz. Weave mold glue gel. I'm sorry, weave molding gel, which is what I will be using to mold down my hair, which is about 30 seconds. It gets extra hard and protects your hair very well. The 30 second bonding glue, my clippers with number one guards on them, as well as my peanut liners, a red tail comb. And yes, honey, my red tail comb is missing a few teeth, ratchet. Yes. My chia irons, which I will be using to bump my bangs. And these are the two types of hair right here. Mickey Way Fab 8-inch and Thumbelina. Color number one. As well as Spring Roll by Premium Ultra in color number one. So those are all of the products, you guys, right there. I'll be using this little blonde to kind of accent and highlight my bang a little bit. But this is all of the products so stay tuned you guys because the slayage is about to begin honey yes okay so this is going to be step one in the slay the slayage honey to short hair so the first thing you guys that i have done i've washed my hair and it's still damp as you guys can see my hair is very very thick so this is why I wanted to do a tutorial for my thick, long-haired sisters out there, honey. Y'all, it's a struggle to try to put our hair down or mold our hair down for short styles and hell, sometimes even wigs. So I'm going to walk you guys through this. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my 30-second uh, molding gel by Salon Pro. I'm going to simply take my red tail comb and go all along my hairline first and work my way back. So the first thing I'm going to decide, um, I think I'm going to do like a side pony type look with my 27 piece. So what you want to do, you always want to put your pony opposite of the way that your bang on the front of your hair is going to flow so i like to part my hair on the right i like my hair to flow to the left so therefore i'm going to have my ponytail coming to the right more so that way it's like a big bang and then you still see my hair over here you want everything to kind of be proportional when you look at the hairstyle so i'm just molding my hair Kind of combing the product through so it gets in evenly. And my hair is so thick. I have another comb on deck, honey, because I break these rat tail combs like it's nothing. So as you guys can see with that molding gel, it does lay your hair down very, very smooth. And so when I mold my hair, like I said, I want it to pretty much come this way. So my pony, if you guys can see, my pony is going to sit offset. And you'll see once I get through, I'm going to do a whole 360. Make sure you guys, you get this. Comb this out. It needs to be as flat as possible. You don't want any humps in your 27 piece. You want everything to shit you want everything to um lay nicely and i know y'all like damn is this bitch 
natural hell no i ain't natural my hair just nappy as hell this is ridiculous i just took that three part sew in down y'all and it is a fucking oh my hand burning it is a damn struggle And see, I need one of those, um, I need one of them thick rubber bands. Y'all know them rubber bands that you get off the newspaper and shit when they throw your paper? I need one of them, because the little black rubber bands are probably going to snap. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I couldn't find the big thick rubber bands, so what I did was took the jumbo black ones and put probably like 10 of them together. And now I'm just going to secure... My pony and pray that these damn rubber bands don't break. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to do another loop. Oh, my finger's gonna break. Uh, I couldn't get it another time. Okay, so this is my end result of my pony so just so you guys can see what i mean i have it offset to the side now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in with some more of this and smooth everything out you want to make sure that your hair is very well coated with this um molding gel because that's what's going to protect your hair especially if you're not using any type of growth protector or liquid cap, you want to make sure you protect your hair real good then. So as you guys can see, I'm going back and just making sure that this is coated very well. So I'm just simply combing my ponytail out. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is we're going to take this ponytail. I got two rubber bands right here. We're going to take this ponytail and you're going to flip it going up just like this. What you're going to do with these rubber bands, you're going to make this into a little, a little ball. So you're going to take these rubber bands and you're going to put them on here just like so. Make sure you guys can see that. I'm sorry. Okay. So that way you have this little ball right here. Now the rest of your hair, you're going to mold down. And when I say mold down, you're going to mold it. You're going to mold it going in the direction that your bang is going to be going. So I'm going to mold it down like that. So you want to take little bit by little bit. Okay, so I'm done molding it down. When you guys get done molding it down, it should look something like this. As you guys can see, I've molded this all the way around. I made a little ball. This is what my um, tracks are going to attach to to make my ponytail. This little ball right here versus a really, really huge ball. And so the next step in this is to add some black hair wraps. This is going to ensure that your hair is flat so you're gonna
Okay, you guys, I'm back. <clears throat> Excuse my voice if I sound a little raspy. I think I'm coming down with the cold. So, I've dried my hair. I went ahead and installed my black cap. In fact, I did two wig caps. And the wig cap that I used was this one right here with the wide band. Very inexpensive. I think I paid like $1.49 or something for this wig cap. I went ahead and took a white crayon or eye pencil or whatever and outlined where I wanted my 27 piece to be. So as you guys can see, this outline starts here. And it goes all the way around to the other side right here. And I have a circle around where my actual uh, ponytail will sit. So all of this right here will be my 27 piece. And this up here is going to be my bang. So as you guys can uh, see, I've already installed the, the middle bundle of the 27 piece hair. Right here. The middle bundle. I've already installed that. And the way that I started my, my um, quick weave off, you guys, I started the first track right back here and I put that track from there all the way around to this line and that's how I did all of them just straight just like that and so with the pieces left over that I cut which is this right here I will be taking it and gluing them just like this starting right here at the line and gluing it down like so so that it goes just like this Okay, so to save some time, I'm going to be back when I do that, you guys. I'm trying to save time on my phone because I'm running low on memory or else I would do step by step. But just to show you guys how close you put it, you're going to literally put your your next wealth right here. Literally right on top of that other track. So it should be placed right here like such. So that's how you place the tracks, and I'll be back, you guys, when I finish adding these few pieces to uh, my head. So when it comes to placing these tracks, you guys, you always you always lay them in the direction that you want the style to flow. So if you want everything to flow this way, going this way like this, then you're going to place the tracks going that way so that they can flow. So to show you guys, and you have to manipulate the ends of the weft so that it curves exactly the way that you want it to curve. <clears throat> okay, so I'm pretty much done with that. As you guys can see, I've gone up to there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the shortest pack, I mean the shortest little bundle that's in that pack, and we're going to add it, um, just keep going just like we are. We're going to start back going from here all the way back around to this line to go ahead and finish everything off. So I'm going to install the smallest bundle, and I will be back. Okay, you guys, so this is what you should have after you've installed all of your 27 piece. I only use two of the bundles, the middle bundle and the smallest bundle. I'm going to turn around and let you guys see the back of it. So this is the back. You should have your 27 piece all the way up until your little ball at the back and then here on the side. So, yeah. So I've gone ahead, you guys, and shaved down my 27 piece. I didn't film it because I did it in my bathroom, and I didn't have anything um, wide enough to sit my little 
mini tripod on. Yes, I got me a mini tripod. <laughs> but, yeah. So, this is how it looks. Shave down, you guys. And I just went in with my clippers with the number one guard. And I cut it as low as it could go. Then I went in with my peanuts with the number one guard. And that was that. And I left this right here kind of thick. So I can uh, blend it in with the hair I'm about to put in now. So I'm going in with my Bump Trio 2, 4, and 6. It's 2 inches, 4 inches, and 6 inches in there. This is the 6 inch right here. And this is what I will be installing next. And I'm simply going to glue it from where this stops to where this stops over here. That's it. And I'm going to do it all the way back until I get to about right here. So this is my end result, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little show and tell. It wasn't so much of a tutorial as it was a show and tell of this hairstyle. It is just a little pony and I have the 27 piece all the way around. Check out that line though, honey. Check out that line though. Okay then. Slade. Do you hear me? Slade. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and press that button. And don't forget to share, 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 share this video. So until next time, you guys, as always, I love each and every one of you. Bye, y'all.